Welcome to the Bonfire, Sirius XM, Connie Central Radio, Channel 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Still fucking slapping that air base, bro. You, are. you were nailing it. <laughs> I, I am. I legit little... chords. Really? Yeah, no. I okay. Don't know. I didn't know. That would be, be surprise me if you just knew that. <laughs> yes, you know, stand up. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty good at bass. You didn't know that? I play bass guitar. <laughs> I could walk into your... Boom, boom, boom. Are you ever playing bass this afternoon? Do you know how many people have told me they play bass guitar that I know are lying to my face? I think it's the easiest one to fake. No. Yeah. I almost argue they've never played it at all before, but it's the hard one to, like, pull out and prove. A lot of people don't have a bass. If you say I play guitar really good, a lot of people go, oh, I got a guitar. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to play guitar, but I have a guitar. <laughs> I think I have two guitars. I was built physically to play the bass. I'm gangly. Oh, yeah. You got that that long yeah. that long reach. I got that primate arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're pantomiming more of like a primus corn. Yes. Bass. The real way to play the bass. I thought you were going <laughs> to McCartney that shit. <laughs> Keep it up by your tits. <laughs> no, I'm going like a giant long violin. Looks I'm going like. I'm going like uh, who's the new Metallica bassist? Rob oh, Trujillo. Uh, Rob, Rob Trujillo, yeah. I'm Rob Trujillo in it. I'm just a lot of knees oh, man, and you got to go crazy low for yeah. that guy. He goes down. He what does is, what deep is, squats. <laughs> what I is bet what? his fucking glutes are jacked. Um, I bet he could lift you up like for a cheerleader pyramid. He could just toss, <laughs> <laughs> he could just toss someone to the sky. That guy was looking at so much white panted box <laughs> yeah. all through high, senior highs. What you find about Rob Trujillo was just tossing chicks in the air. <laughs> They're going <laughs> slapping bass at night. <laughs> fucking death metal man. But he... Uh, does Les Claypool play low? No, no I'm ch- I, don't, I don't know how Les Claypool plays actually. No, yeah, no, he. I think he plays out. I think he just plays it like. But not Paul McCartney. No, I think he, I think he plays it stingishly. <laughs> oh, tantric, long, pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> just we think I'm gonna hit those scales. <laughs> I hold back. <laughs> Squeeze the bottom. I put that thing that goes across the whole fret. I wish yeah. I knew what stuff was called. If you you have to be frustrated if you're fucking Sting. If you're a woman, because you're like, come motherfucker. And he's like, no, no, you hit. <laughs> <laughs> not, not what is he yet. Scottish? <laughs> he's whatever this accent's going to be now. <laughs> not quite yet. Uh, I just go oh. right, right to the brim and pulled it back. Squeeze me bass. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, slap it, slap it with your fingers now, pom. I almost came, but I didn't, or did oh, I? Oh, almost, oh my, my nana getting shagged in the loo. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, that's your tantric secret? <laughs> You're just bringing up base level things to kill a boner? <laughs> oh, Rick, do for me flat. Oh, man, you in the pitch against Chelsea. Oh, you can't think about football right before you come. I thought you hold back. <laughs> Put a thumb in me fanny. No, Sting, this was no tantric secret. You're a charlatan. You ever see Sting's wife, though? He's got that... Why, they both look like like evil space like yeah. leaders or something. Yeah, they look like Blade Runner people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they look like Blade Runner robots. Sting and her look like Trudy Styler, right? Yes. They look like future people. <laughs> yeah, they really do. They look like incestuous like twin... Like uh, siblings or something. Yeah, but he aged way better than she did. So oh, now yeah, that's always the case. Yeah, I know you can't see it unless she looks like the unless Andy Merkface wants to hold up the screen like it's Lion King. See, yeah, she got bizarre looking. She got she looked more like Dune than he looks like. <laughs> Uh, she's gone full Dune in her face. She looks like Dune. What do you find out? He's one of those eccentric, like, Liberace guys where he's actually paid for to get tons of surgery to look like Dune him. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to fuck Dune me. <laughs> I've been, that's why I wrote Roxanne. <laughs> so I could afford surgery to make you look like me. I want to fuck me <laughs> for hours endlessly. You know, Kurt Metzger, our friend Kurt Metzger, the yeah. player is Kurt Metzger, is the first person to tell me that information. I never heard that story that Liberace got a boyfriend's surgery to look like Liberace. I didn't know until that movie came out that he it was did that. crazy. That's a uh, that's some high, high level narcissism. That's like crazy sociopathic. Yeah, especially like if you're going to be so proud of the way you look and everything like I mean, like, well, yeah, it really is narcissistic. Like, who loves their looks that much? He's, I want to. I always the found even like the me. hottest people, like even though they know they flaunt their looks, still have like a lot of insecurity about it in some way. I think know? hot people have more. If you nail them on something they're insecure about, they can't recover. <laughs> like when you have goofy physical attributes, like I have a massive head. We all know this. The beating I took in eighth grade, really, from this black kid Benny Gordon, just during math class, he just like beat the shit out of me verbally. Where I was like, oh, now nothing can make me feel. But beautiful people aren't 
taken down a notch. So when you get them on something, they don't know how to react. They're like, <laughs> what? Johnny Five, yeah, yeah. Not gonna be. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I got a big fucking hit. By the time I was like 14 years old, I was a grizzled. Just like, yeah, what's big? <laughs> Macy's Day. What are you going to throw at me, brother? I've seen it all. <laughs> you, you fucking eight mild them? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, I do have a very big head. Yes, I do have fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. Hey, man, we won't even say that shit. Gary used to sleep next, yeah. next to me in bed. Oh, what you going to tell me now? <laughs> Gary was hanging dork. I Dude, love that. My dad had a th- fucking big piece when it wasn't active. I don't know what it was like af- active duty, but. My dad has a, at least did. I don't know if he's, maybe he's gotten some work done on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I got some penal enlargement. Jeez, it's your dad. We got to explain that. Uh, Big J, whenever his father calls his phone and leaves a message, he always starts the voicemail by going, Jeez, it's <laughs> your dad. It's so your dad. Probably for the last four Six years of our friendship. <laughs> Every time I leave Jay a message, I also go, Jeez! Here's one, here's, here's one I've never checked. <laughs> never checked this one. You call back. Oh, oh, hang on, no, no, no. I, that That's so fault. serious. That was, <laughs> turns out it's uh, been a major death in the family. Jay turns out it's spread to the bones. Uh, <laughs> I got about three months. Anyways, it's your dad! <laughs> Anywho, it's your dad! Oh, I think I just did a purge of all my... But I will get him eventually. It's okay, great. yeah. But it, he can't trust help himself. Me, I've yeah. heard over a dozen voicemails. <laughs> I used to mega mix them together. Dude, you just, you just start each one. We'd be outside the cellar, and he'd just start hitting them and go, Jace, it's, it's your dad. Jace, it's your dad. Jace, it's your dad. And he'd change it up. <laughs> one of my favorite things of all time. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know because my father's dead, so thanks for bringing it up. But when he was alive, <laughs> he, he was hanging, hanging some thick pieces. That's what really that should bring us. We should look at... Uh, you should get a look at least at Lenny Kravitz's dong or fallout. Yeah, you guys talked. You talked about it on your podcast Legion of Skanks. Obviously, there's a um, crossover fans, well, so we don't want to crossover fans. No, we don't want to. But I mean, um, your take on it is going to be because it, he does hang. Like, first of all, the fact that just leather pants just split in the ass and his dong falls out is great. Yeah, well, you have that coming to you if you're wearing leather pants. But I, can I can I give a guess of what I think his dick looks like, and then we can see what his dick looks like? Lisa Bonet's mouth. Ooh. Boom! Explosion! That's a Clinton, the power that's a Clinton administration <laughs> burn. All right. That's it? That's as close as we get? Oh, that's as close as you get, dude. But that's that's good. Oh, there it is. It's a good I, shot. It's like one of those magic eyes. You got yeah. you got to focus your eyes. You really to do. The you're like you're like, what happens? Like, how's this? I thought it was gonna puff, flop out of the top of his pants. I'll first say this, uh, and I've, I just because was Gary doing better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, Gary had a big old piece, a but, real uh, heavy, thicky. Yeah, like just uh, one one that could like thick, a basset hound did. Thick, some It was just like man. thick and hung. But I'll tell you this: as someone that's been on stage. With his that's, dick out? <laughs> no, yeah. That's what I do at the end of every set. I'm like, suck my dick, Milwaukee. <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> Morrison 69? Yeah. You guys want to see it? Yeah. I just tug it on my leather. I'm the snake. I'm the lizard king. Uh, hey, you want to see it? That's big stage dick. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz says big stage He should have handled like Mars. He should have stood up with his dick hanging out and be like, you're all a bunch of Get fucking pockets. slaves. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I want to fuck right now. I want to fuck right now. I mean, that's pretty. I just saw a closer picture with it all fucking. <laughs> it's, Uf, it's all UFO'd up. Like, when they, yeah. when they find a UFO in Landing the sky. area here. Dude, that's right over Bisbee, Arizona. <laughs> There's been a lot of sightings there. Yeah, that's that's big stage dick. Yeah. Excuse big. me while I whip this out. <laughs> uh, Classic. Cla- but he... Uh, yeah, he's got big stage dick. Ooh, I bet it balloons up in a in a social environment. Oh yeah, when he's when it's ready for action. Yeah, he, I mean you can't sing. It looks thin, right? Like in the picture, he's yes. got a thin dick. But I but I'm telling you right now, that's like, are you gonna? He's in the middle of. Are you gonna go my way? <laughs> yeah, and his dick. It's he's all, in the middle of it, and also yeah, he swings down. So his dick yeah. may have been on the swing down, which yeah. is gonna. Snap it out and thin it out a little bit. Yeah, bungee cord dick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just get away. It's rubber banded. It's gonna come back. <laughs> he got that rubber band dick. He got that rubber band dick. <laughs> yeah, that's not a song. I'm producing it. Yeah, we'll get our man C Boy in the studio. No shit. Everybody, the number here is a uh, eight four four because we I always forget it. Eight four four comedy nine. 
Eight four four comedy nine. Try to pull this one off, genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's eight six six three three four four. You're already wrong in the first part. No, but eight four four eight six six. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, two six six. I'm a dummy. If you if you're if you don't have a phone with numbers, <laughs> it's eight four four two six six three three nine nine. But for everyone else, eight four four comedy nine. Uh. I think I'm happy about today's uh, show because... Why are you happy about it? Um, I think it's going to be awesome for you to talk about this. And I think it's a great topic. And I think you will find... Uh, take some solace in the fact that you're not alone in the world, buddy. We yeah. all have great stories. So you're bringing up the fact that my girlfriend and I broke up. Yes. And I know the crowd at home is probably wondering why you've just been checked out and non-productive the last three shows. <laughs> and if they're wondering, the reason would be why I'm carrying her. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you really... uh. That'd but be it's a, tough. It, whether it's something you even wanted or not, it's tough. It's a toughie. Yeah, it was um it was a mutual mutual breakup. We've been living you know, I talked about it on Opie and Jimmy. Mm -hmm. In fact I was you know last time I was on Opie and Jimmy, I think was the day before we broke up, so I feel bad that I didn't Really? She, yeah. The day before? Yeah, it was like, the, <laughs> it was like So she could have found out. If I would have said anything on Opie and Jimmy, that would have created a massive problem probably. I thought you did say I thought you said you I didn't say it on the show. Oh, you didn't? No. I, you, this you is the first about I've, this on the show. No, this is the first I've talked about it. <sighs> Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, here's the thing, though. Is I would love to do it on Opie and Jimmy, but this is our show, and we're talk it happened recently, and you're my very close friend. Yeah, dude. You like split here to go have a final talk on the last show, which was had to be jarring, dude. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed that last show, because it was just like... So fun. It was <laughs> fun, but it also was... I was shitting my pants knowing I was about to go have coffee. Have a, I was about to go have an emotional fist fight. Yeah. That's what it is. That's the only way to describe you're it. You're going to get called a dick in some way. Yeah, you're just like, oh, my God. At the, the least best case scenario, I'm only being called a dick once. And then it's like you're just <laughs> Rapist! Like, yeah. You're like, what? Bitch, you better change your tone. <laughs> I, uh, but I'm going to lean like, into you. I'm going to lean into you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, grab the back of her arm. We're having coffee right now. You need to stop saying that loud. Yeah, stop saying that loud. No, but meeting up, like waiting on the corner for it, it really made me feel like when someone was like, I'm going to fight you at 3 p.m. And then you're just like yeah. waiting after school and you're like, come on, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. She walks up and I'm like, hi. <laughs> you're shadow boxing still. Yeah, but I'm like swolled up like I'm about to fight her. But I see her and I'm Sup? like, hey, how are you? How's your flight? <laughs> Ah, you want some coffee? You're like trying to get in the fucking store and I'll order it for you then. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, you're paying for it. Finally, you're paying for something. This is like, <laughs> wait, what? And you're like, nothing. No, I'll take oh, mine with cream. Nothing. Mine's with cream. There's but it was extra what? pay for it. You just sit down and it's like, um, well, this didn't work. <laughs> it's just like this whole, like, that's what sucks about it. Do you wish you, uh, that's very mature of you, very confrontational. Did you. If she would have been like, hey. If you couldn't tell we were buying the mixtape, I'm a confrontational guy yeah, if I'm pushed if to it. She, it's true, but if she said, like, uh, you know, let's not even talk about it. I'm fine. Just go your own way. I would have been scared shitless. You really, you'd prefer that just to do that talk. I would prefer to do that talk because if she says, no, I'm cool. Go do you. <laughs> You're like, no, I don't want to walk away from this now. I always feel like somebody watching. And then, like, uh, all of a sudden, I'm going to get a call from my mom. Why is the government saying... Your identity's been erased. I'm like, Wait, what? Am I in a Sandra Bullock the net like situation? She, she's wearing a Con Ed uh, <laughs> uniform. She's cutting your power lines. <laughs> she's making me disappear. Oh and I my! Got no privacy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I'm walking. I'm. Go I like can't get on a plane. <laughs> she's just wrecking my life. That's what I was really afraid of. That she was going to be like, you're you dead, motherfucker. Dan, they said that they have you on a charge for murder in Orlando. <laughs> saying you stole all your jokes of the past 10 years from a feature act there. I'm like, wait, what? I've never been to Orlando. <laughs> you murdered a man, stole his jokes. So they set me <laughs> what up. a comedian's crime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says here that you... Uh, we're, writing a, we're writing a Lifetime movie right now. <laughs> yeah. He murdered a man and stole his stage shoes. Yeah. Oh, I remember that notebook. Tim used to have it <laughs> when he'd work the chuckle hut here in Orlando. He was one of the best young Orlando comedians. <laughs> I like that you can't make a movie anymore about a lost book of some sort. No, no, All no. the information to the computer somewhere. Dude, that was the best. You know that movie that came out with J-Lo, uh, The Boy Next Door, which we have to watch together because it's such an awful piece of Did shit. Did you see it? No. 
Oh, I thought you saw it. I saw one scene. My buddy showed me a scene. Oh, I didn't see. I just remember the commercial. So it's all double. So he says like double entendre. The movie. Yeah. Can you play the trailer. Play the trailer. So she like bangs this this like you know it's like a real the boy next door. Yeah, she bangs the boy next door. Let me let me put my glasses on. Anyways, there's a part in the movie where he says he gets her an original pressing of the Iliad. <laughs> Thousand year old book. Every time it goes to the office. Have you ever made a mistake? You ready, mom? Pull it out, baby. I got it. Oh. And you are Noah. I'm staying next door with my uncle. I'm about to bang your Enough ass. Enough around here. No. It was this accident with my folks. I'm gonna finish up in Monroe High. My mom teaches there, actually. I like that he's cool. built like a teacher. man. God, you're beautiful. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, he's no boy. <laughs> it's okay. It's a very mature boy. That's the thing anybody said to me in a long time. Well, then I'm glad I said it. Oh. You lose some of your life. You start to feel like you don't belong anywhere. You know it's Jeez, turning ugly know. soon, though. Oh, wait, hold on. There it is. No rules. Just us. Hang on. Two bodies. But, Emma, I was feeling one. vulnerable. I'm the adult. I wasn't thinking clearly. I can't do this. Hey, no, you should have said no. For dinner? Hey, Mrs. Peterson. So, what happened this weekend? What happened? Oh, there was, there was a big thunderstorm. You guys didn't get it up there? No, dry as a bone at the lake. Well, it got pretty wet here. Whoa! You think that's the only one? Noah Sanborn is joining your class. No. Oh, he's in her class now. Did you send an email from my account? Sounds like you've been hacked. Oh. Uh, your password. See, it's not wrong to wait, wait fuck fear it. cyber terrorism. Yeah, I guess. There's another double Don't entendre coming. That he walked out on you. Honey, I need you to stay away from Noah. Okay. See you at school. Bye, guys. I'm gonna lose my job, my son, my life. Obsession. Oh, I hope it's the right commercial. Oh, has never been. I'm never letting you go. That's just her blowing up shit. Oh, this is like a stereo. All right. Yeah, it's the right. Wait. Oh, my son. I can't do that, Claire. I live next door. <laughs> I want you to take his face off. Take a cookie for the road. Wait, I love your mother's cookies. Oh! Oh! Jay calls it at the butt. That's a buzzer beater. Two for two. <laughs> Jay called two fucking sexual innuendos in that garbage I, trailer. I, I went to the movies a bunch in, in a where that was like the trailer for everything, and, yeah. and that was always a, such annoying. Like, yeah, it's like the kid fucking. I think fuck your mom. He gets a sick kick out of coming over and laying it out there for you constantly. <laughs> He goes, Mom, I think I'm allergic to that bush outside. He goes, yeah, I'm sure not allergic to your mom's bush inside. Come on, man. What are you saying about my mom all the time? Hey, Mom, uh, I can't get these ropes over the fence. I can get my mom my ropes over your mom's fence. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps getting nasty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, the cables out. I was laying some cable on your mom's <laughs> chest last night. Did uh, you shit on my mom's chest? Oh, hey, guys, I found your mom's pearl necklace. <laughs> Let me just give your mom this pearl necklace real quick. Oh, uh, shit. By the way, that was my favorite porn maneuver that I first found out about when I was a kid. Pearl necklace. I was like, you get to have sex with a girl's boobies? <laughs> the pearl like, necklace? Yeah. When you shoot the nice, you gotta shoot some nice ropes out of I mean, the pearl necklace. I think you just have to have murky waters. Would it be great? Work. It wouldn't be great if you can complete the necklace though. <laughs> Get one shot up each side of the all neck the, all the and it just wraps around. All, turn your head. I picture it's like. When I, I, by the way, are you talking about stunt, right, stunt coming right right now? Saying a pearl necklace <laughs> is the, the result of titty fucking. Yeah, makes sense to me now. In my mind, how that worked, though, and I, I'm, I'm not making this up. This is an embarrassing, funny thing, though, is that I assume, like, going around the girl and, like, almost like when you see when they make, like, uh, Talking the, something? No, like, the flowers on cakes. Like, where it's like, it's like yeah. squeeze one, when they move write on. Your name? So it's like squeeze one, move yeah. on. Sque- yeah, so it's like, I feel it was like, it was like, it was like blast drag, blast drag. So wait, was, did he have his thumb over it like a baker when he's coming? He's like, hold on. He's holding, oh. his, ba- he's holding his ball back. <laughs> Up like a baker's back. <laughs> Halfway through, he goes, oh, this is going to look nice. This is going to look nice. <laughs> oh, this is going to come out good. Nice fondant. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I think I'll be able to even do the uh, little latch on the back. Oh, we were just on a side note, just because we want to get the answer to the question. When we were walking over here, I, I, uh, Mike Fenoy was with me, 
Uh, yeah, your buddy Mike Fanoia hanging out in the studio. Is that your good buddy, too? Piece I just said our good buddy. I think he said my that? good buddy. Fucking um, chill, bro. No, Mike uh, was hilarious, and he was uh, he wanted to ask a lady, which uh, I've got to say, thank God, it never came to this. Mm -hmm. He was going to ask her, you know, because all the girls now, which I love, by the way, I'm a fan of this, of the jumpers, the girls wearing the one piece. I don't like it. You don't like them at all? Nope. I don't mind them at all. It, it look, makes them look like toddlers. <laughs> I think it's called a jumper sucks. Yeah, that's why. It's like, do you my, got your booties on you? I make a boom, make a boom, boom. I make a boom, boom. <laughs> that really is the same. Every girl that walks up is like, hey, you're really funny. I just hear like, I'm my son, my mama. <laughs> you're like, I can't fuck. I don't want to fuck. i Yeah. My mommy says that you joke so hurting my feelings. Like, Shut up. She's got her tits mashed up. But what <laughs> I'm wondering is now, girls go to the bathroom publicly constantly, all of them. None of them have any problem with shitting and or pissing in public, no. despite what they all say. Um, well, that's because they got those fucking. Either way, with they got those jump. Rob Trujillo legs. So we were <laughs> squat over it. So we were. So Mike uh, was wondering, and, he, and it's a good question. Yeah. How do girls piss and shit when they're out about? Do you have to get butt naked in a fucking stall? Eight four four two six six three three nine nine. Uh, our emails to send us a picture of it happening is a <laughs> the bonfire uh, on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know. I went Colin Quinn at the end there. Eight four four comedy nine. If but, you're a woman and you can tell us how you piss in a jumper, <laughs> and also if you could stop calling it a jumper, and I'll start call, I'll stop calling it piss. It's uh -huh. very that's a very rude way to refer to a woman tinkling. I like yeah. to call it a little, a little. What would you call it? Making a sissy? No, but listen, a piddle. piddle. But if she pulls it off to the side oh, and like really fucking f like fires out a nice stream of piss, like what that's a, a post-apocalyptic way to piss? Oh, just just like, down. Oh, right there. Just like out on the sidewalk. <laughs> ah, quit looking, you fancy boy. <laughs> have you ever seen a girl, oh, have man. you ever seen a random hot chick pissing in the street? I've seen it so many times. I've, I saw it once at a concert. Just a, a random hot chick. Just, just like, and they'll be like, they're so I want to pee right here. And they're always like, <laughs> I don't even care. I don't even care. People want to see me pissy. <laughs> <laughs> they're right, by the way. I'll totally look. 100%. Yeah, and then she's like, what? I'm leaking. <laughs> I had so much white wine and I'm leaking. All right. All right. One, number one, just tear your number two. Look away. Yeah. <laughs> look away. I'm about to lay it down. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, I had carbs last week. Oh. You, just hear, you just hear that. Low level. Yeah. Uh, I just made wrestling team weight. <laughs> uh, well, we'll answer this question and a lot more when we come back. You're listening to the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. The Bonfire Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soto. That's Big J. Okerson. Mm. Just dropping ass on that window. <laughs> I was laying it down. You see me? Yeah. I bust that shit wide open. Straight white guys dancing like that. Well, it's all, it's just always funny. It's always funny. Always. Oh, let's take our first call here because uh, I believe it's Elena in Houston wants to explain our, our question here. Uh, line four. Four. Elena in four. Elena in Houston. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hey. I wanted to say that they're rompers, and you're correct. If they are short enough, you can just push them over to the side and piss right through them. I never thought that. But, it, that just turned me on so much I with her it, with a southern accent saying that. <laughs> yeah, no, if it's short enough, you can just push to the side and piss. <laughs> Drop a hot news. Oh. What about, so you can just move it to the side and piss. And, but, if they're, but if they're pants, then you have to get butt-ass naked and then hold it up so that it doesn't touch the bottom of the disgusting Wow. So but also, but even but if, but if you're, I mean, let's just be. I hate to be frank here. Be frank. I mean, you seem like a sweetheart, but uh, even if the shorts are short enough, you're not going to shit pulling your romper over to the side, oh, are you? No, no. I mean, nobody's going to do that. No. So you have to get butt naked in a public stall. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, I like it. That that does something for you, doesn't it? It does. I don't know why. It just does, knowing but they're it does. wearing their going out shoes, just oh, buck naked like a stripper. Just, if somebody kicked the door and you can't just hike your pants <laughs> up, just butt naked. You gotta throw your jumper out. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh god! Not now! You weren't supposed to enter now. Yeah. You use the romper. You take it off and use it to catch the knife. You use it to, like catch the arm. <laughs> And you turn around, break their arm like Steven Seagal. There's a jumper. It's basic Aikido, man. Welcome to jumper self-defense class, day one. The intruder's take, got a knife. Take the jumper off, yeah, yeah. hold it out, you stretch it, you want that thing taut. You are taking a tinkle. You're at the Barclay Center. 
Dan Auerbach's on stage, rocking. Your boyfriend's holding your drink. You got to pee. You take your jumper off, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. You hear what seems to be work boots entering the women's bathroom. You, f- you hear a strong kick. That is when your assailant will come at you. He's got a box cutter. He's going for your left tip. You take your jumper around the wrist, hip to hip, drag him over. That's called a judo Simple toss. Simple judo throw. He lands on that porcelain, and he'll be wiping up blood and shit. Now everybody pair up and try it. <laughs> Thank you for calling in, Elena. Thanks. Keep making shows with different names. I love them. Oh, thanks. <laughs> different, oh, she wants us to make it a whole other show now with a different name. That's hilarious. Just keep, that's what we do, just to not get any popularity. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> 844-266-3399. Jay, what does that mean in words? 844-COMEDY-9, buddy. <laughs> I memorize it. Yeah, I don't. I don't, don't think, memorize it I have at a all. terrible, terrible, oh, by the way, I'm, in, uh, I'm at the Acme Comedy Club Friday and Saturday, this Friday and Saturday. I had to cancel tomorrow night's show. I'm sorry if you have tickets. To tomorrow night's show. I'll probably go Friday or Saturday because I am not a draw. No. Uh, <laughs> but come out, Acme Comedy Club, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes, Bonfire uh, fans, please make yourself known. And, yes. And, and say hi. And be pop, you know. We want to make sure it's getting out. To- Ooh, that's toasty. Oh, oh. That's warm. Why don't you bring a s'more? We'll talk. <laughs> bring a blanket to put over your legs. <laughs> Snaggle busted. How, f- how funny. sex, maybe kissing <laughs> That would be good to know our fans on the road. They come by putting blankets on their legs. <laughs> it's a bonfire. <laughs> Bring paper plates. Why are you wearing knuckle gloves in a big winter coat that's all ripped up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, about, huh? Do you have an acoustic guitar and a cooler full of Corona light? <laughs> you are coming Are you a, a street bonfire. doo-wop group wearing tight t-shirts that are rolled up on the sleeves? My favorite thing is like the assholes on Twitter. They're like, why'd you call it bonfire? Why'd you, you, you didn't want to call it two gay guys having sex? You're like, yeah, that's fucking not funny, you negative ass. And also, I wouldn't get through standards and practices. <laughs> yeah, S and P, if I'm using fucking industry <laughs> terms. But that's what we want. We want people to wear blankets on their legs. <laughs> I'm just gonna think it's. I'm just huge with uh, disabled people. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I don't know where their chairs are, but everyone here just coming up, push themselves in a box like 48 hours. Eddie Murphy. Yeah, everyone looks like uh, Cobblepot. And, <laughs> what's his name? And um, it's a Wonderful Life because he has it. Damn it. This is where marijuana ruins all my references. <laughs> this is why my girlfriend left me. She didn't. It was mutual. It was it was totally mutual. Jill, line one, you have a friend that... Uh... This is Jill, buddy. Oh, is this Jill? This is Jill. Jill Rambo? Jill, Ram- Jill J. Rambo. <laughs> of course, Jill J. Rambo she's had a in the friend. Ca- she's in the car right now, fucking tossed. <laughs> Switching lanes. She's probably got the phone to her ear. She's got the beer can out the window <laughs> on the side of the car. She's ashing into a beer can between her legs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, Jill? Hi, Jill. Are you talking to me? We're talking about you. Yeah. Now we're talking oh, to you. Oh, you sound distant all of a sudden. I don't know why. Well, okay. I mean, emotionally distant? Or? <laughs> no, I don't know. Ha- I already went through this on Monday with my ex. <laughs> yes, I'm distant emotionally. Yeah, and apparently single as well. Don't get any ideas, Jill. He's single now, Jill. Don't get any uh-huh. ideas. Prowl. Don't get any ideas. Looking for some of that Long Island huss. <laughs> yeah, I'm too old for him. Oh, uh, well, I think I could dust it off. <laughs> How old are you, Jill? We've discussed this already. You should remember. I don't. Oh, why? See, Jill treats us like she is our girlfriend. She gets mad at us. Oh, wait, about... you're... She's like 40s. Right, four years older than you, if I think. She's 42. 42? Yeah, she's 42. 42? Ronnie Lott, greatest safety of all oh, time. Oh, yeah, I think we did talk about this. We were saying, I bet you... I think Jill's holding up. I bet she looks good. I can't wait to be back in the city because I'd like to um, see a show of yours. Of Jay's? He is at... Where are you at, Jay? I'm um, everywhere, oh, yeah, always. Jay. Well, I wasn't talking to Jay, but yes. I know. That's what right. oh, right. No, no, no. God, I, Jill, I just get on the phone line and throw in heat. Right All right. Uh, I guess, I mean, I guess I'll see. I guess I'll go see Jay's show, too. I mean, yeah, I'd see his show. Where do you sleep? <laughs> I'm going to come watch you sleep. I want to smell your hands. Can I shave you with my giant <laughs> hunting knife? I'm pretty good at bow and arrow. Smell your hands? No, what? Oh, no. I don't want you to smell my hands. Oh, I thought that's just your thing. That's what you said. I know. I know. We're just joking. (laughs) I can't tell if Jill loves the waitress. Jill, Jill, what did your friend do? All right, so I live on Long Island, you know. I mean, you're Jill from Long Island. (laughs) Yeah. So 
I took a girlfriend, a Manhattan girlfriend, out of her, out of her territory. And yeah, you took it to so, Long Island. We got it. Yeah. And so apparently we were out in um, Freeport and she, she had to pee. And I mean, <laughs> if she does not get hit by a car, this story is a total bust. Between two cars. Joe, are you getting fingered right now? <laughs> She's like, Ants, Ants, hold on real quick. Oh, you give me all palm right now. I need to Tony, Monica. quit. I'm on the phone, Tony. Oh, I God. can't stop when you start oh, knuckle God. dancing on me. Oh, God. Stop <laughs> knuckle dancing me. You're less clay pooling me. You're slapping that bass. I had a friend. She came out here. <laughs> she tells stories I, like I, she's I, constantly trying to stall us. I think you're funny when you're not when I when I'm not on the phone or something. I don't know. I, I don't understand. That's a very you woman good. thing to do is go right after you're like you're not funny. She's got a bad connection. Oh, that's why. No, no, you're funny. You're funny. You had me laughing so from six to six thirty, but. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, so your friend peed. Yeah, very uncomfortably. I almost didn't speak to her for the rest of my life. So. Where did she pee? Like, right next to you? In, in between two cars. Yeah, I was, like, standing there. And that made you not want to talk to her anymore? No, no. No, we made up, but, you know. That would have been such an awkward lunch to have to make up for. Jill, <laughs> listen, I uh, had a couple in me last night. Sorry I took a squat and tinkled right there between those two cars. I bet you're wondering why we haven't talked for the past six months. That's like a real girl thing, too. They won't talk for something like that. Why? What did you just do? I just don't want to be embarrassed by you out there taking a piss. It was just stream. It upset me. It was too <laughs> thick. You had asparagus that morning. It's very disturbing to think that you're turned on by the idea of a naked woman all right, I can understand a naked woman in a stall, in a stall, but 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 pooping in the stall turns you on. I don't know. No one said it turns. No us one on. said we're t- what? But if the chick was hot enough, I would watch her shit. You really would. Yeah. W- would you? I would just wait for the shit face, then I'd start. Giggling. Actually, I've watched on the internet horrible looking women shit uh, for the pure novelty, but in person, yeah. Uh, you know what? Did I tell that? You know what? I'll be honest with you. I'd watch anyone shit in person. Did I? T- <laughs> if I had the opportunity, I don't know what I was going to get into a whole fucking qualifying thing. I would. I'd, I'd probably if anyone was like want to watch me shit and it was like some public display, yeah. I'd watch them shit. Very honest of you. But I would watch a. But I would go to watch a super hot chick shit. If you were like, if I was like, would you pay ten dollars to watch who shit? Giselle Bunchen. No. Yeah. Who's your ten bucks? Group? Ten yeah. bucks. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'd but, watch anyone shit for ten bucks. But you have to stand up in one of those. You have I'll to stand up in one of those observatory things, like in surgery rooms, dude. I will. Get where a, you don't. You're not. You're not ground floor. You know. You don't get floor seats to watch your poop. You got to be up, like watching, like with, like when they do it, when they do surgery. Oh wow. Hmm. Ten bucks. Ten bucks, and you wait in line like a long time because she's got to eat. It's got to settle. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a fast pass for this thing? Or? No, there's no. There's six, not. There's no six. Do lines. I know a guy? No, you don't know anybody. You are just a. You're just a normal schlub buying a. Giselle co- Bunchin. If, if we're in a utopian world here, yeah, she answers my Craigslist ad about accepting ten dollars no, to shit in front of me. You don't. Not even. You get an email mm-hmm. from a secret group saying, "Jay, come to this location at this time." It's going to be a long line. Bring $10 cash, not even debit card. You can watch Giselle punching. Is there a PS thing where it's like, you're going to be in the nosebleeds, but, I get, but I'm getting you in? <laughs> no, because it, it hurts more. Because you show up and you go, oh, we're not even ground level. And they're like, no, you're in the mezzanine. <laughs> you're, oh, sorry. You're up. Yeah, you can't. Would you still do it? Um, Yeah, I'd pay $10 to watch any hot chick shit, probably. I told you about when I was in college, that dude that played. Did I say that on the show? About the guy that played the video while I was playing Madden? I don't he think went, so. He went out on my roommate's computer, and he's. This is right, like when, uh, internet porn. It was the first time I ever had a computer. Right. Why am I super loud now? Oh, <laughs> they just start getting louder. But I'm playing Madden. I just hear from my roommate's computer the song, "The Scat Man." Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you did tell us this. You did the, tell, you did, okay. I think you said this on the area. It was a video of just chick scat porn. Yeah. Just That's, different. That's gross. You know, it's you weird. don't watch it like that, though. No, I don't watch it like that. And also, what's funny is, but I also never get the uh, like. I can watch the shitting 
part. Yeah. And then it's like, now they're going to start eating. I'm like, no, that's bad. That's the weird part now. You get weird when the science gets involved? You don't yeah. The sweet science. The sweet science of pooping? No, that's gonna, oh, you're going to get sick. Denny. Denny, Missouri, my friend. Line six. We gotta tell oh, Luke. guys, big fans, man. I just love how you talk about random shit. Thank you, Denny. I got a random thing for you. You ever pee on a girl in the shower just to see the look on her face? I mean, not to see the look on her face, more because I just had to pee. I've peed on <laughs> girls in the shower a bunch and uh, never it, to see a look on her face. It's always kind of like a thing. It's like, funny. hey, want to pee on each other? Yeah. Yeah, funny or like, yeah, no, it's always you know funny. What I, I you know it's what never I'll do? sexy. It's always funny. I always do it where I'll go against the shower curtain and then like hit them with a little. And oh. then they'll be like, did you? you? And then you're just like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, stop it. <laughs> like, I'm in the shower. You can't get mad at me. I just start pissing without saying anything. And I go, let me help you out with this uh, jellyfish bite. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that brings us to uh, Ray, line one, line two. Ray from Pennsylvania. Okay. Hey, yo. So, uh, you know. First of all, before anything else, I just want to get this out there. Um, I just really hope you two guys are using condoms. That's all. <laughs> oh, to stop us from having children? Uh, okay. Uh, now, on top of this, I'm going to talk for real quick about this trip I took to South Camp and I was doing a jellyfish trip, okay? So, uh, yeah, you ever wet your whistle down there? Yeah, are you on? How much methamphetamine are you on? Dude, you feel like, I feel like you could. And, uh, <laughs> are you guys, uh, hey, you guys party? <sighs> okay, and, uh, hey, is it just me or is it, you guys blood itch too? My blood's oh, starting to itch. Oh, my God, I'm so worried. I gotta make so worried. Oh, is God. there a gap by your house? I feel so strong. Is there a gap? I need some pants. I feel so strong right now. <laughs> you feel like, I feel like I'm uh, fighting 10 cops. I'm gonna look at a fucking car, man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I just wanna pull my you teeth. You wanna smoke a butt? I'm gonna take a lap around the block. <laughs> How do you know Julia? This is a pretty fun party. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, that was bonkers. Yeah. Okay, cool. You ever wet your whistle down there? <laughs> Dude, just, okay. All right. One time I was drinking. Wait, let me go back. I started doing when I was like fourteen, which is crazy. But when you got to work on something else too. Hot, pop dad. quiz, hot shot. What feels better than? <laughs> <laughs> what feels better than picking your scabs? Eh, wrong. Nothing feels better. Nothing feels better than picking your scabs. <laughs> Pop quiz, hot <laughs> shot. <laughs> uh, guys, I feel bad for the guy that yeah, he's gonna rock. <laughs> That guy was fucking jacked up. Homie <laughs> Jesus out of a cannon. All right, guys, you guys your stuff sucks. It's good. I'm kidding. I'm a fan. What? Okay, hang on. Uh, you dude. ever wait your whistle down there? It's such a funny thing to say. Chris, Chris, line three. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey. What's up, hey, dude? How's it going? Hey, man. Um, I never really wanted to do this, but I was um, had to hold my girlfriend in a squatting position oh. so that she could pee. So you spotted her? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was her spotter. I kind of held her hand, <laughs> leaned back. You know, I was a counterweight, so she wouldn't fall over into her own piss. Yeah, you were and like, I'm like, this has to be love because you know I don't even like to watch myself pee, much less somebody else. Yeah, dude, that's the relationship. <laughs> you trust away from your own piss. Like, <laughs> no, you dirty you're boy. Ugly. <laughs> you're ugly and you're stupid. I gotta put up my piss tent. <laughs> that way, I don't see myself pissing. Oh <laughs> uh, well, yeah, exactly. you got a blinder, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, but you really did. I mean, holding her up—that's a fucking ace move. For no, a that's, boy. A, that's a cool. Fucking oh, move. I totally got laid that night, and it was like our second date. I'm like, oh, All right, really? really? Right in her pissy so, puss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smelled like asparagus and dick. <laughs> Uh, wait, did yeah. you? It's all meaty and salty in this room. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a fine steakhouse. Was, oh, man, I forgot you took that hot road piss earlier. Yeah, because it was hitting the pavement and it's all like steaming. Oh, and, baby, yeah, I don't mean to be a dick, but your ankle's up on my shoulders. I think I smell piss on your <laughs> shin bones. You see, you got those little, uh, what's it? Oh, said it for it. Looks like those little joints for G.I. Joe's, those little yeah. roll up toilet papers from wiping your piss <laughs> oh, and, dude, I've had in that. the field. <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've gone down on a girl and saw that and it just started you said, laughing. Depending on the hottest of the chick, you just swat them away. <laughs> If it's if it's yeah. a girl, if you, if it was like a girl, you were like, "What am I doing?" You'd be like, "God, uh, yeah. you know what? Hey, I have uh, a conscience again." Yeah, I'm sorry. I think you should check your vagina. Dude, I had a, a girl once. Joe joints. Well, thanks for calling in, Chris. You're a good hey, boyfriend. Thanks. Chris just reminded me of a thing that I uh, one time I, a, a girl told me she had to piss. While I was giving her a ride, and I told her uh, 
I was like, you should just do it like right. Just open the car door. Let the car door block you, <laughs> just so I could again, just like see your pussy. Yeah, see you see your pussy while she took a piss. That's always your pissed, bottom. That's your you bottom line. Piss like on the door of the car. You want to half get angry, but you're like, oh, I did ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> you did show me your pussy, but now there's sort of piss on my door. You're like shift right. You start yelling things you can't do. Get up and shift. Oh my guess they're weighing out. Yeah, it was an '87 Honda Accord hatchback. What are you gonna do? Give That's what shit. you had. That's what I had. Did you really? I had a Honda Accord. Was it bluish gray? Yes. They always were. Honda Accord 87 hatchback? Yes. Are you swear to God? That was oh, my, my first car. Kurt Metzger, again, comes up, got it stolen for me by parking it in a towway zone, but it didn't up, get towed, got bring up, stolen. Bring up a Honda Accord 87 hatchback. That's I, a fucking, that was my, that was I my first car. I put a nice stereo in it you could take out, like a briefcase. I had the same thing. <laughs> Casio? I got it installed at Best Buy. Actually, car toys. <laughs> yeah, Best Buy. And you buy the shittiest speaker? Yep. That was my car right there. Let me see. But a bluish car, more yeah. of a bluish green. Uh, mine was more bluish. It wasn't green. It was like grayish blue. Mine was like light blue. Wait, go up. No, that's too dark. The one right there. Yeah, right there. Nope. Yes. Boom. Mine was a little bluer than that. And I had those fucking Spy Hunter flip-up lights, like Rocky's going for a ride to think about Apollo getting <laughs> yeah, killed. Yeah, that's the... Uh, bam, there's no bam, easy bam, way bam, out. Now, now, bam. There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. My best friend, Garapé, had the same... <laughs> <laughs> Jay loves that name. A... That, name never, that never doesn't make me laugh. Garapé. <laughs> but his... Oh, boy, Garapé. His brother had the same car. And so when my mom... This is a long story. My mom used to bang this mechanic, <laughs> who I think was also banging my friend's mom. But anyways, it was weird because all I the mom... my mom bones some mechanics. So we have very such parallel shit with yeah. that. His name was Buzz. <laughs> and so I swear to God, his name was Buzz. And he could get cars from police auctions super fucking cheap. And when I was 16, my mom got an 87 Honda Accord hatchback. I didn't get to pick it. It was it was like, I gave half the money and she gave half the money for my 16th That's birthday. so weird, me either. Yeah. My grandmother took like my boyhood bond money. Yeah. And, uh... And, and got it. And, and uh, got it for him. But it was like, this is the... I found this car, you're getting this car. Yeah. So I got delivered. My best friend, as I said, Garapé, his older brother has the exact same car. It's the exact color yeah. and everything. Just his was an automatic. Mine was a stick shift. Oh, so yeah. when I got the car, I was like, oh, fuck. I was like defeated. I was like, God damn it. It looks like I'm going to look like I'm driving Garapé's car. <laughs> and I'd be driving. You got that badass stick, though. Yeah. Which where is you, nice. Where you check you're a neutral. You just this keep is slapping it around. This is Denver, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is, is open Aurora. road, but that's nice. It's though. Aurora. Good right. roads to have a good uh, to have a nice stick shift. There. I was driving down to the Gothic Theater. I think it was the Gothic Theater to go see uh, Blair Witch Project in that car. And my brakes went out on I-25. <laughs> and so I had to. Some my whole way home. Bro. No, I, yeah, my girlfriend went back in time after this breakup and cut my brakes. But I had to break the whole way with my emergency brake. Oh, shit. That's scary as fuck. Yeah, but I got diesel. <laughs> my right arm was like, I was leaning into it. Do you it. remember uh, learning how to drive a stick? How I remember one time, if I stopped, I could, my, like, very early in the learning, mm -hmm. my mom had like two cars. She had a Chevette that I learned on that was a very easy clutch. Okay. And then she had a Honda Civic, one of those little boxy ones. Yes. That's what my friend Fuji Like Fujak a 1992 had. or something yeah. like that, 91. And uh, she had one of those little boxy things, but that was like a much more loose like you know what i mean like yeah, a you, loose clutch. Let, you had to like let it almost all the way out and it's just go. weird and, and i just couldn't if i got if i stopped all the way getting the first gear was almost impossible in that car but i had to pick my mom up from work Oof. in philly from Ooh. jersey and, and I, philly dude, is the dude, worst I, parking i've ever seen it's not to do a parking is it simply you have to go you have to pay a toll with a bridge <gasps> and i'm hanging out the window of this car going super slow screaming for the toll booth guy i'm like toll booth guy hey toll booth guy. Oh, hey, hey, oh, uh, so toll booth guy, you, did you stall out on the bridge? Once again, Opie crushes my fucking radio <laughs> world. What a great fucking story. Wait, my point is, did you, when did you go out? On the bridge? No, going to the toll, like four car lengths before I got to the toll, I'm yelling toll booth guy and holding the money at the window because I wanted to raise the thing so I don't have to stop at the toll booth. And I'm just did waving it? money at the thing. Uh, no, <laughs> I stopped, and it took me like four tries to get it in first gear again. There's nothing worse than when you're trying to get out of first, when you're starting the car again, and oh. you just can't, but a situation like that, where you know there's <laughs> like six people behind you, my the, mom and I- The pressure cooker of being on a hill with those oh. cars behind you? Dude, I had to park one time, and I took a girl out to Olive Garden my senior year, and I had that car. <laughs> that was a big deal for you. Huge deal. I saved up like weeks, not weeks, but like, you know, I didn't buy weed for two weeks.
You're like, uh, did you want more breadsticks? Can you afford it? Yeah. Baby, they're bottomless. <laughs> Have some salad, too. <laughs> Why don't you pat your stomach with that? Hey, my lady wanted extra pepperoncinis. I noticed there's only two in this whole bowl. There was a hill out the outside the parking lot. Like, you had to get out. And we had, like, a great date. And then I just, like... But it was a stop sign at the stop, so you could stop uh, yeah. and then go. But it was a busy street, so I kept... I kept stalling out and coming back down. I was like, yeah, this thing, it's crazy. The clutch. Holy shit. <laughs> but then you start, you go from being like, ah, it's cool. I just, then you start getting mad. And you're like, fucking thing. It's fucking. And it's like, <laughs> and you're like, it's fucking. Hey, can you look that way? Cause I'm gonna start screaming like a goddamn man. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking come. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like punching that hard, hard plastic dashboard. I mean, we have, we, you know, we've been, obviously been talking about girls and the jumpers peeing. And Jimmy in Chicago. He's just one. taking on a new life of ta- telling stories about girls shitting, which I'm okay with, by the way. You're okay with the girl shitting herself? I'm okay with the stories coming in. Jimmy, what's up, dude? <laughs> hey, how you guys doing, man? Good. <laughs> I'm, laughing. I'm laughing pretty hard here. Hey, so my uh, ex-wife and I <clears throat> were downtown Chicago about dusk, and she had to shit so bad because we... I stole a bunch of white Zinfandel from my mom and dad's fridge, and we drank about four or five bottles. Jesus. So I talked her into going into this uh, parking garage, and I could see her. I could see her shitting. I was off to the side, and, and she wasn't. She wasn't arching enough. Oh and, no! And, uh, oh, so she shit dropped. like she caught it in a basket that was her own <laughs> pants. In a basket, yeah, yeah. And she got her shit it. basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she pulled her she panties made, right back up and started crying. She made a turd hammock oh. out of her pants. <laughs> It was like it was like when they gave you an egg to take care of like a baby. <laughs> she was like, I'm gonna take care of this poop like, baby. You, know, you gotta go in there with like a tissue and remove the logs oh. from your underwear. Oh, yeah, it I mean sucks. good news about shitting your pants that way, you don't get the smear factor of the blast. No, but she may have just had a but that's, that's a liquor shit. That's a white zin shit. Ooh, I don't even know what that's like. I just imagine a girl, especially being Chicago, that Chicago accent. <laughs> She's like, Oh my god. James, Jimmy, it's yeah. James, not funny. It's coming out. It's your brother Gary over here. We're on the north side of Chicago, and I'm about to shit my pants in this parking garage. You got one of three options, James. You can stand there and laugh. You can help me with my shit basket. Or you can go get the car and put down a towel. Help me, you asshole. I swear to God, you're like dick of leaving the bears. You're just holding me out here with my ass. Uh, that is a fantastic story, Jimmy. Thank you. Oh, yeah, oh, fuck. Baxter. Baxter, line four. I don't like saying line four, but we have to because Lou can't read it. Hello? Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, fellas. Awesome show. I was just, uh, I tuned in and I heard you guys were talking about funny uh, piss stories. And uh, What do you I got? Had, I had one that my friends kind of like. I uh, used to visit my dad down in Oklahoma City, and I thought that the, the definition of a man when you were a teenager was, was driving fast, getting places in a hurry, and uh, so I, I prided myself on never pulling over. I just always just pissed my cup. So you were just you never you refused to pull over no matter how bad you yep, had to go. I, nope, I just I, I'd get a big drink before I left, and then I'd use that cup on the way. And uh, when I ran out of gas, then I'd pull over. Uh, but the, this this particular time, uh, the, the the urine smelled terrible, and uh, so I was on interstate. What were you pissing? What kind of cup were you pissing into? Just like a big, like a big old fifty-two ounce cup. Oh, uh, so like big a gulp. yeah, so a big, big gulp. gulp cup. So that's yeah, actually yeah, that's yeah. a lot of room to pee in. I've pissed in like a, uh, I've pissed in a thirty-two ounce Gatorade. Yeah, and that's a yeah. lot tighter than you think it is. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, the Gatorade gives you a little better control uh, than the than the big big mouth of the big gulp cup. Yeah, but uh, the big gulp cup, you got room, whereas the thirty two ounce. Once you, f- you build the puddle, though, you got to piss right in the puddle. It won't be so much splash. <laughs> True, but the yeah. puddle in the thirty two ounce Gatorade starts coming up quick, and then you get that pressure of like there's going to be Might pee be it, yeah. everywhere. <laughs> so big gulp, you got room. You have to shove your dick into the thing, just <laughs> keep it plugged like fucking pirate Cor- potion. Yeah, you got to cork it. You gotta cork- <laughs> You got a dick cork your Gatorade? <laughs> oh, I'm going over the top. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Uh, so wait, so you're filling up the big gulp? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I fill it up. It smells um, 70, 75. is clearly too fast to be throwing piss out of a window. <laughs> um, so I slowed down to about 40. Uh, still too fast. Got a got a, like a half a face and an ear full of piss. Oh. Uh, so it's all on my car, my seat. Oh, I, that's... I, I, so I almost... if you're going to throw... You gotta throw the piss out. You gotta slow down more than forty. 
All right, there you go. I think you did, we just learned from Baxter in Kansas. <laughs> Forty miles an hour is a dangerous. I, you know where they do those seatbelt commercials? That's what they should do now. You get a face full of piss if you toss it at forty. Dude, have, have I ever? Uh, have, I don't think I've told the story here at all. Like on the old version of the show, but like when uh driving down to the shore one time, my buddy Glenn, yeah, uh, who's hilarious. My friend Glenn's just like uh, he just. Doofy, but like the sweetest, like kind of doofy. He's That's a good, good Glenn. Yeah. That Glenn's a great name. For yeah, him. he really is. And he's like, uh, we were driving down in his car, and we were close. We were just in a traffic jam, so we're not going fast though. And he goes, "I got to piss, man. I got to piss really big." He goes, "Give me that Snapple thing." It was one of those like thirty-two ounce yeah. Snapple thing. And he's going, he's pissing, and like I'm like frustrated. He's even doing it. Like I'm kind of that guy. I kind of subscribe to like. It sucks, dude. But hold it, or put the car in park and run over to the side. Like this is just a yeah. weird thing. You're pissing in this jug. And then he's like, uh, as he's going, it's starting to fill up. And I just, I'm kind of looking over casually once in a while, and I see it's filling up. Because you don't even want to acknowledge that you're looking at it. You yeah. just kind of do look at it. And then I see it's filling up. And I go, dude, come on, man. You're going to fill that thing up. And he laughed. And when he laughed, <laughs> his dick came out of the fucking hole, and he pissed, hit his fucking, uh, his fucking steering wheel, and yeah. just sh- sprayed everywhere. <laughs> yeah. All over me, all over my shirt and everything. And we just, we were like, you know, a million miles from home down the show. That awful. reminds me when you're, the, when you're always like, when you're trying to fill up a baby pool and you have a hose in it and you walk away from it and somehow the hose gets weird. <laughs> it just, it's like pissing everywhere. Yeah, that's what happened. You got fucking got away from you. Yeah. It's just, got was, away from, but man, <laughs> there is nothing worse than another guy's piss on you. I guess yeah. there is. His cum. <laughs> I guess his cum would be worse. But a close second is, I would go shit. Maybe the bronze medal is piss on you. <laughs> yeah. That's the bronze? Yeah, that's the bronze. Okay. All right. Well, I placed. Yeah, you did. You're on the podium. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with a whole other hour of the bonfire here on Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Boop. Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. We're doing all Timberland produced music today. <laughs> all Timberland produced music. We are busting it out. How appropriate of a song for me. 844 Comedy 9. Call oh, in. Get sexy with us. Oh, rub your privates Ooh. against the radio like that yeah. Howard Stern movie. Oh. Busting your guts up. Even tell your mama. Oh, Stacy. Line there? two. Oh, she want to talk over oh. this? Oh. Well, how of erotic of a story oh. is it over this drop right here? <laughs> Stacy in Boston. Let's see if you can ruin the sexy. Let the uh, music play. Girl, yeah. Yes, yes, I'm quite positive I can ruin the sexy of um, the story I'm about to tell you. Yeah, yeah. coming in hard with that Boston <laughs> accent. <laughs> no, no, I don't have that bad of an accent. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of there. Hey, boys, put your clocks in my mouth. <laughs> okay, can... you guys want to get hard? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can definitely, I can definitely make you soft with this story, then. Okay. Wait, if before, if it's a gross story, can you tell us first, Stacy? Are you how old are you? Are you like a hot chick? It makes a difference to the story for me. It does. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hot, I'm a hot chick, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm 35. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Perfect. Okay. Um, we're all the same age. Nothing wrong with that. We're all comfortable yeah. with each other. You know, if you want to take your shoes <laughs> off, take your shoes off. Experiment in here. Yeah. yeah. Big deal. Well, I don't know. You seem like you, got a lot of, you carry around a lot of tense pressure on. Uh, all right. So what are you saying, Stacey? No, I was just going to say, this is the most embarrassing thing in my life. I actually shat on the floor of the Pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> shat in the past tense. I love it. Really? Uh, <laughs> proper use of past tense shit. So it, I don't know if you've ever been in, been in there. Um, no, but I... St- I've worked the comedy club near the Pentagon, and I was okay. out when I'm <laughs> You were staring at it like, I wish I could shit in there. <laughs> I want to take a dump right on the floor in there. Well, I'm I'm quite petite, and um, they're right near the back door. Um, it's near where the servicemen get the haircut. Um, there's a bathroom there, and it has quite a, a rickety old um, stall system there. And um, again, I'm quite short, and I had to climb up on top of a, a toilet to use it. You wait, like and, a like a like almost like a like a zoo monkey like climb up like like did you Jackie Chan wall run it where you hit the corner and then the other wall? You had a parkour to your shit. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. So I'm balancing there and I'm trying to hold the door shut of my stall because anytime someone uses the other stall, it pops my door open. Yeah. And so uh, did you try to put your arm forward like you're stiff arming the door from opening? Um, no, the other way. I actually had to hold it closed. Oh, oh. And so, um, oh, it's the worst. Got little, <laughs> someone got a little aggressive uh, next to me when they slammed theirs, mine 
flew open. There were people waiting outside. I spun off the toilet and shat on the floor. Oh, no. At moment of impact, you got yeah. thrown into oh, God. a... God. There yeah. was a can pole t- right there, but you just... Can I tell you how the story played in my head when I read the description? Sure. Fuck like, the government, man. She walked in, she goes, fucking, who's in charge here? <laughs> yeah? I'm fucking Stacy. All right? I don't like what you're fucking doing up in Washington, and I'm going to prove it right fucking here. The head of the military fucking suck my cunt. <laughs> he just took a fucking spiral. But it but it went, the the um, the pile of shit curled up like the snake on the don't tread on me flag. Tell it to my freckly asshole. <laughs> yeah, she goes, more this more is more fucking like- South Boston for freedom. <laughs> This is my poop tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit right on the line. But- I got a message from the Wahlberg boys. <laughs> Stacy, you are a saint for sharing that story with us. Hot chick drops the shit on the floor. That's always a great story. Thank <laughs> you. I imagine her cartoonishly spinning off of the toilet like... Yeah, if you can imagine... Just fired over the air. over my head. Did you Did you just go like, someone's in here? At what point did you start yelling that as you were getting up? started yelping every time someone opened the other stall. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Stacy, thank you for calling in. Thank you so Take much. Uh, we got Mark in St. Louis, line six. Mark in St. Louis. This, uh, Hi, hey, there. How you doing, buddy? Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. So my story is um, I got married. Uh, we went to Barcelona to get married. Barcelona? Which was great. So Barcelona. Um, we left after we got married and went to Paris for a couple of days. All right, we get and, it. You uh, guys are doing well in life. Jesus. Exactly. And, and, and instead of doing like the, the, the three star hotel, I kind of thought I could get away with doing like a one and a half star kind of deal. Sure. And, a, all uh, right. I take back that you know, doing well in life. You're a cheap, you are a nickel pinching <laughs> son of a bitch. You're planning, Griswold. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we end up at this place and, uh, we, you know, I'd always thought, you know, French food's supposed to be great. We go out for a, a nice meal. And uh, it wasn't nice, and, and it was not agreeing with the new wife. Yeah, because you're getting uh, discount French food. <laughs> 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 you're staying in a one-star hotel eating street meat in Paris, and he's like, uh, you he's like uh, and the frog legs, we've got them right now. Where did you get the frogs? Well, they are not frogs. They are actually rats. <laughs> cheese is a little old, but uh, it's cheese already, yes? Yeah, your beautiful wife and you deserve only the best French cuisine. I found this dead child. I have harvested their organs. I will give you a scargo of dead men. Oh, as children say. Running All by. about the uh, small portion. <laughs> yeah. So you get the bubble guts. So we, we end up uh, back at the hotel, and she really needs to go. The actual room does not have a proper toilet. It only has like a like a urine. It, it was like a urinal, but toilet shape. Okay. With like a little like normal plug that they have in like a normal sink. So you know, I had to go down to the receptor, the concierge, and say, well, you know, where do you, you know, where do you do the the the, the other stuff? In France, we and do he's like, poop. well, there's a door down the hall. And uh, I sent her down there, and she came back with a white face, and she said, it's just a hole in the ground. That's that I eastern? To, I need you to hold my hands up while I take a shit. What? So three days into our marriage, there's no toilet. It's literally just a hole in the ground. I think they call it a Turkish toilet. You should have dro- let go of her hands <laughs> so her ass just goes right in a little puddle of shit. <laughs> so I'm holding her hands, and she's going, and it's not like, you know, normal. It was horrible. And, uh, All right, but Mark, know, be honest. Was it, how gross was it where you could feel her tense up when you knew the <laughs> shit was coming out as she's holding oh, your hands? Baby. She's like, baby, I know what I'm It just fucking like, grabs your hand like that clutch of like, oh my God. So embarrassing. <laughs> you don't think I'm gross. She's just fighting out French food. Just pushing. <laughs> I think I'm done. No, no, no way. There's a little more. Or she's like saying it mid. She it hits her mid sentence where she's like, "But when we go back, we'll tell everybody we." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Tomorrow we'll go to the beach. With the- Anything you want to do. But it just catches them like they got winded. Ah. Well, I think overall is a fun vacation. That is fucking uh, uh, awesome, Mark. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, we have Gina in New York. I think is chiming in with something similar. Hi. Hi, Gina. Hi. How are you? This. Uh, oh, so much better than I was that day. Yeah, please lay it on us. 
So, uh, seven, eight years ago, I spent a long weekend out on Fire Island with my then boyfriend. Yes, honey, he had some secrets. How old, how old were you? Oh, I was, well, I'm 32, so oh. minus seven, eight. I was in my early 20s. All right, early 20s, just partying on Fire Island. Yeah, well, we were there for a little romantic getaway. So it was, you know, just the two of us. We were drinking a fair amount and eating our share of seafood. So it sounds like uh, you guys were wearing like um like very light sweaters with shorts. <laughs> and you're just like walking <laughs> along the beach and they're like, we're going to make well, love tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where this goes. Uh, oh. We took a, we woke up early in the morning, got ourselves a nice cup of coffee, took a, that's a your stroll problem. on the beach. And uh, I started to get that that bad poop feeling. Oh, you got the it's going to happen now ruptured gut. Yeah, uh, sweating. Oh, were you? Let me guess, because you are the girl in the relationship, so I want to know: Were you holding hands even though you knew you had to shit? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I started to get to the point where I couldn't form sentences. Did he start going, babe? Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Your hands are super clammy. Are you all right, That's babe? Clammy right now. Hey, babe. Are you uh, all right? I noticed this morning you didn't want to do yoga, so I just brought us our pot of coffee. Hey, babe. <laughs> babe. 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 Seriously. Yeah. Babe. And uh, I, I started to reach the point of no return and told him I, I had to poop right there. And so. Right then and there. Yeah. You didn't give him a warning shot of like, hey, my guts are starting to rumble. <laughs> um, do you want to watch a movie back here? I got a shit. <laughs> there, there was no warning. It was, a, it was a bad poop. Yeah, but you you should have led with like a, like when you started feeling that, you should have been like, hey, Todd. He's like, she probably caught it now. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what's up, babe? She's like, I'm having a great trip. Yeah, me too. I'm really starting to feel weird in my stomach. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that would have that been the appropriate thing to do. But I instead you just go, like, I got a shit now. <laughs> yeah. It's happening. Yeah. It's the bad kind. <laughs> Where did you so, do it? Uh, I found the closest thing possible, which was, uh, well, it was the, it was the dunes of the beach. <laughs> ah, was Sting just banging his wife on top of one? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, you know, it had that dune grass, that nice, uh, soft sand. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had my, my mashed potato poop right there. Oh, no. It didn't even hold together in a package. You had alcoholic no, shit. No, it was pure mashed Potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. Oh, the flakes. That's what girls. Yeah. If this is going to be that kind of party, I'm going to stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, but it's almost like, I didn't know girls shit mashed potatoes. That's what they do. She's like, baby, it's mashed potatoes. She's a fucking flume from her throat to her asshole. <laughs> Straight mashed potatoes coming. She actually ate. She actually ate boiled potatoes. <laughs> the body mashed. itself cut them and mashed them in her stomach. Um, Dude, what did he do? Was he, he, did he watch you? Um, no, he, dick out. Kind of turned like... his, his, he turned his back, um, and he began looking for something that I could use in lieu of toilet paper. Did, did, he, hear, did he hear what was happening, though? Because you had to be making noises. Oh, he knew. He, it, he knew. I bet it sounded like a deer walking through, because it was like a soft, but yet a firm touch of the ground. So and like, I'll be honest. When she was dropping heat, it just sounded like a deer was walking by. I, I may or may not have made eye contact with a deer while all of this, while all of this was happening. So a deer saw you and was just... Oh, like, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I'm watch this. Uh, oh, and look at this he, human. He look at this animal. <laughs> he, opened the gran- he opened the granola bar that he had, ate that, and handed me the wrapper. That, that's not good. I'll tell you this right now. That's his mistake. <laughs> uh, that's a terrible... No. Uh, it's all silver and shiny. And yeah, that's a terrible... I know. You get no traction. You're basically, you were walking around with the shitty butt cheeks for about... It would be immediately back to the to the hotel at that point. But, did yeah, you but have... now it's got granola in it. Yeah, <laughs> whatever was left over in the death thing never comes out clean. The granola package there's always some granola left on it. Yeah, absolutely. It's oats and honey and shit, silver wrapper, turn it smearing in. it all around, chunky peanut butter, <laughs> just a bunch of oats. Yeah, it, it wasn't pretty. Oh my god! Well, I'm thank sorry you. to hear that, Gina. Gina you're a trooper, and, yeah, I, thank and your you. boyfriend's like, hey, how long is he still with you? Oh no! What happened? Uh, well, you dumped like, her five minutes later. <laughs> she went, bitch. Wait, it got to the back to the city, and he goes, hey, this is crazy, but babe, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. Turns out, uh, I just, I'm moving. He goes, that? The, the, fact, the fact that he was an alcoholic probably made the entire thing better, because he probably was blacked out at the time and had little to no recollection oh, of it. That's, He's like, oh, it's okay for us to shoot our pants? Yeah. <laughs> I was always ho- wondering when we were going to approach this subject. <laughs> now we could share everything. Oh, you shouldn't stand <laughs> dunes, too. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Bad. Uh, he calls his friends. I think I met the one. Well, I took her to Fire Island, and then she did 
what I always wanted a chick to do. <laughs> she shit in the shit in sand, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right as sand, dude, bro. Bro, didn't even say it was going to come. She just got down on one and she just robbed her heel squatted. Michael, I've been your best friend, Drew, for 12 years now. <laughs> and I knew one day you were going to find this girl, bro. That's the toast at their wedding? <laughs> when he called me and said that she, Gina took a dump in a sand dune. <laughs> I, you know what, this, uh, Josh from North Carolina, line one, I, I don't know what this has to do with anything we're even talking about, but I, I just want to hear, <laughs> I just want to hear yeah, the story. Oh, please let his voice be like, hi, boys! <laughs> like, that was no mistake. That was not Accidents a mistake. Accidents happen! <laughs> That's the title of this story. Josh, you there, buddy, oh, North Carolina? Hey. Yes, yes. Um, so I had this thing where I like, uh, like masturbating in public, I guess. And Wait, um, wait what? You're just, that's like, you said it like it's a hobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It kind of is a hobby. It's very exciting. It helps. It helps uh, break up the monotony of the day, I guess. You, dude, you, I would, you do that. You jerk off in public. Yes. Wow, wow. dude, I would kill I, for I that. Guess, I want to say you're a piece of shit, but I watch the videos of those dudes all the time. I would, <laughs> I would kill to have that kind of confidence. I don't know if it's a confidence as much as like a compulsion. Okay, well, I mean, no, it definitely is a compulsion. Definitely compulsion. Yeah, no, we're not. Uh, you're, uh, you're gonna. We're not you're, saying you're okay. You're probably Fair gonna enough. get in a lot of Anyway, so like. Anytime I go grocery shopping, it's just I jerk off. Shopping. You're like, stop right there. This, this is a problem. I can only come up and just crank my dick in the frozen <laughs> foods door. I walk by, I see those peas laying there a certain way, and just know that those carrots want to see me jack my shit. <laughs> Squeezing cantaloupes. <laughs> oh, man, the boy, that boy is back. He's just fucking. Yeah, so anyways, like, I fucking, I hate grocery shopping. So anytime I have to grocery shop, more than like five things, I'm like, I need to fucking jerk off before I go in here. And clear, so, clear your head. <laughs> yeah. well, you don't want to make full ball decisions on your food, man. <laughs> Not with what, so, over five items? You're going to start buying a bunch of like health stuff, trying to look good and stuff for some push. You're going to get some instant popcorn, but when are you going to have popcorn? So you go in the grocery, are, are you jerking off in your car? In my car, but you know how, like, if you're jerking off somewhere and you're not, you didn't really plan it out, you get to where you're about to come and you don't, you don't know what to do with it. That's what Sting does every time. And oh, so, come I on the inside. <laughs> and I fucking came in my coffee cup. Okay. And was so that like your side, work? Was that like your work thermos? Was it like my what? Like, was it like the one you drink every day? Was it like your mug that you take to work? Like on no, the I mean, it's just, I'm only fucking like 26, so like, it was just a random ass coffee cup. It'd be funny if you had and, one of those um, construction thermoses that he has to undo. I think he's only 26. You gotta be 40 to get one of those silver fucking cups. <laughs> a thermos mug and like dead eyes. But, uh, and so yeah, I do my grocery shopping and I fucking come outside and I, you know, I'm happy in my car. I'm like, I need a cigarette. So, you know, coffee and cigarettes go together. So I see the coffee cup and I'm like, okay, I'll drink this coffee. And then I fucking get finished with it, and I just, like, fucking slap myself in the forehead. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. I just drank my own cum. Wow. And, uh, yeah. It'd be funny. It's like, turns out that's how I take my coffee now. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a new caveman coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's how Was it cold coffee? Caveman coffee. <sighs> Yeah, like, there's fuckers that put butter and coconut oil and stuff in their coffee. That's hilarious. So come, whatever. <laughs> he goes. To, he goes to Starbucks. He's like, "Let me get a grande. Can you come in it?" Like, what? I only drink my own cup in my coffee. <laughs> I hear a cup full of, of cum coffee is good for teeth pulling. <laughs> uh, what do they call that? The the teeth the yeah, whitening. The, oh yeah, you gotta rinse your mouth with your own cum <laughs> yeah. and Colombian coffee. <laughs> well, thank you for calling in, Josh, and uh, yeah, please... Yeah, man, motherfuckers are killing it. Thanks, man. Just be real careful about jerking off in public. Don't do it around, you know... Authorities. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or, I was going to say, like, you know, families or anybody. Just do it at your house. Frank from New Jersey is going to tell us something that I'm sure we all could have. I think the whole world gets... I mean, that's... that's this is uh, one of the... You know, but, man, but some but people handle this differently. Frank, you there, buddy? No. Hey, Phil, what's going Frank, Frank, you there, buddy? Hey, hello. Frank. Hello. Dirty jurors, hello. buddy. Hello? Yep, we hear you, buddy. Can you hear us? Uh, all right. What's up, guys? How are you? Boom. Uh, good, my friend. What's your story? All right. Uh, it's kind of a two-party here. The second part's a little bit better, but obviously from the description you guys heard. So I'm, I'm banging this girl, right? 
Yeah, just blow and, them back. Uh, <laughs> it's a great jumping. Yeah. Hey, great to meet you guys. First time, long time. So anyway, I'm just <laughs> plowing fucking sniz on this real fucking slut bag. So, sorry to hear about your chick. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of mine, I'm deep, real deep. He goes, I am holding balls from the back to make sure I give her all the girth. <laughs> I got my headboard high-fiving my wall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go ahead, Frank. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, no, no problem. All right, yeah. So I'm banging her, and you know, we we're like, all right, let's, let's try some anal here. Let's do that up. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm down for it. And naturally, wait, wait, you know, like, wait hold on, real quick. She pitched you the anal, or you pitched her the anal? Who was like, let's? I gave her the anal. No, I don't think. <laughs> dumb. I, don't, I think you. She didn't grow a dick, and then be like, "I'm gonna." F I'm saying, did you, were you the one that recommended it? Were you the one that no, said, no, "No, no, no"? She I did. Yeah, she oh. recommended. She was like, "I want to try it. Let's do it." And I was like, "Okay, oh, did he so go?" <laughs> I go in slow, and you know, we're doing it, and she she's enjoying it, and you know, so I start to go a little bit faster, and then I kind of forget that I'm fucking an asshole, and that there's fifty fifty chance that she I just might doesn't you know, care about me. <laughs> it it's not a fifty yeah. fifty chance. It's where shit lives. <laughs> 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 what are the odds? It's out for the day. It's home waiting for an Amazon delivery. Shit's oh, I thought shit had a six day. Six day. That's why I wanted to plug her butt. When you pulled out, did shit come out or was it just on your dick? It was. It didn't like come out like a log. It was like some liquidy nonsense. Yeah. All like a ring around my dick, and then it was like in around her butthole area. And so I really didn't know what to do. So I just kind of like this. this I, I I really didn't know. So I just was like um. You shit, and then I just walked out. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know how many psychological problems you just gave that woman? Uh, I don't yeah, know, but that is there's no better thing. Look, look at her butthole. Look at my dick. Look at her butthole. Look at my dick. <laughs> you shit by, <laughs> and then just leave. That's fantastic. What an ice. That's a mic drop <laughs> of sex. That's like, <laughs> <"Ping!"> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, when I had that, I, I finished, uh, uh but still, man, I, that I finished girl... a girl's butt, and then, uh, when I pulled my dig out, a, a, a log, like a small little chunk of poop came out. Did it come out like one of those Play-Doh play sets where you push down the nope. star? No, 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 no. It was just like a little, like, jizz covered piece of shit. That's a... You got a snow cap? You got a, <laughs> a little, snow cap? A little snow cap. <laughs> a little snow cap. A little snow cap. Oh, that's really oh, gross. Oh, my God. Do we have to take a break, Lou? We gotta take a break, right? Sure. Yeah, well, it's break just time. A break. Uh, then we're gonna go. I, I, I want to talk when we get back. Uh, because this, the, uh, the caller's got some great, great stuff today, man. Great stuff. Really fucking, uh, hilarious. <laughs> <amazing>. Really <laughs> hilarious angle, these guys. So when uh, we come back, we'll take that. Uh, you're listening to the Bonfire on Sirius XM Comedy Central Radio, Channel 95. Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM, 95. That's Aaliyah. The late great. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. One love, you. When I was a freshman in high school, or a sophomore in high school, I asked a girl to dance at a dance club to that song. Like a fucking... Preteen dance? Like an idiot. No, it was like 16 and overnight at the club. Oh, oh yeah, not preteen, but that's what I mean. Teen it's dance club. Yeah, 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 it was the teen night. Teen night. Of the, I, I, did I think I went once and I just felt so... Yeah, I walked in there. It's like we should have been in my headphones, and be like that beautiful people. I'm just like angry at everyone. Yeah. Like, look at you. I'm an outcast. I don't belong in your world. Mine was I. I got to smoke cigarettes in there, so I liked going. You smoke inside? Yeah. What? Yeah. You Did smoke it get you underage? I had. They took school IDs and it said I was a sophomore. So they were like, "Oh, you're 16." I was like, "No, I'm like barely 15." <laughs> Bum fuck down. But that, no, nah, it was Denver. It was like I'm off. Uh, well, yeah, kind of. I guess you're right. Um, but I asked her. I was like, "Will you dance with me?" And she was like, "What?" She was like grinding, and I'm like, "She said what?" <laughs> well, no, she like dance. She's like, "Okay." And then she like at school told my friend. She was like, "That guy asked me to dance at a dance club." I was like, "Oh fuck." Why does she find this so but she's just being a twat? Because I was being an idiot. You don't ask someone to dance and how corny that shit is. I can feel like I should have just walked up and been like, like started dancing with, but I was awkward. Dude, I totally would have asked. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's solved after uh, all that, these that, years. You know what's funny? I'm like, people am, make am me feel I, like an I, asshole. I go, something wrong with me? Like, I don't understand what Soder's like, the argument is. I'm like, yeah, of course. They said it like hey, I was. You want to dance? What was it? Why yeah. is that weird? Because I guess it was like corny, because here I am, like this goofy. 
dude just like, can I lay down somewhere? What, you live in a town of rapists? You walk up and you take it. <laughs> you want to dance, you go make dance. Hey, ladies, <laughs> you are going to dance now. You want to dance, you go over Stephanie. there, you make a dance. Excuse me, are you Stephanie on the pom-pom team? I'm going to dance with you. <laughs> I'm going to spin you around the floor on your feet or by your fucking hair. Get the fuck out there. <laughs> Like, dude, Soder's changed since he became a sophomore. He's <laughs> <laughs> not as cool as you. The one in my town, in my neighborhood, it's called Circus Town. Was it? Yeah, Circus Town had the... Mine was fucking... called Hollywood Legends. Well, this was only... It was like it was like a Chuck E. Cheese type place during the day. And then uh, and then, was like and a... then one night they would do like a teen dance night but at Circus Town. But I, I don't know if it was, but I was one of was like the animatronic animals still <laughs> with, with the top 40 of the day. But they're doing... Like, yeah, Stacy's mom has got it going on. These guys can play anything. <laughs> There's someone that's amazed by it. They're the best cover band ever is the fucking... Uh, these guys fucking nail it. So yeah, this song always reminds me of... I thought I was an asshole. You've made me feel better about it. Yeah, I told you. I, I told you, my, my, the song I always know is that uh, Mint Condition, Pretty Brown Eyes, because me and uh, the just girl Janessa, who I loved in high school, we danced to it. And uh, like she couldn't have been less interested in dancing with me. It was a pure like, all right, come on, you fucking tub of shit. I guess I'll fucking <laughs> let you spin me around for a minute. And she did a very complicated move that was unnecessary in it. And you got it wasn't like a one, two, back, you know, back and forth sway. She was doing like the one, two, dun, dun, two, two. That's beep, great. Right before and this. it was fucking freaking me out because I'm trying to keep up with her. And in my head, by the way, I was just like, oh, she's in dance classes. This is like a big thing. Like, she knows what she's doing. How great. I'm fucking it up. If she would have psychologically fucked with you and just leaned into your ear and gone, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Starts doing crazy. You like, expect to make nationals like this? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven. And ball heel turn kick. And ball heel turn kick. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. Crank that shit. Up. Oh, that's all that DDP yoga I've been doing. Uh, you want to get to Denny in Kentucky? I do. Denny in Kentucky, there, buddy. Line three, two. Line two. Thank you. There's like a 15 second delay, and my stepson sitting there listening to my satellite radio right now. I'm gonna say, hey, Brandon, get off the fucking drugs. Hey, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the dude who's story. Is that cool? <laughs> What? Oh, man, Denny's having a hell of a time at 7.30 in the evening. Jesus. Denny's already in the fourth gear by the time he called our show. He's going to freak out as soon as he hears this shit because I'm so far away, he can't even hear it, but he's going to hear it on the second radio. It's going to be great. How old is he? The the doo-doo story, what you guys were talking about earlier, were killing me, and I got a good one from Vegas, man. You all ready for this? Oh, we are ready. We are in our doo-doo story (laughs) positions. My so God, you Vegas, half man, entertain me, half terrify me. We're out. To, oh, it will too, man. Because <laughs> we're out there partying. It's on one of our anniversaries, and I don't even remember which one. That's probably why. That's my first ex fucking wife, right? So this is how this goes down. We're out partying. Get back to the room. I got a suite in the Paris hotel. We're banging down on the couch, man, inside the suite. <laughs> she just squirted her, so she squirted me in the face like I needed snorkel and a mask. And as I'm looking down, she squirts out the ass, too, and it went all down the front of the couch in the suite. And yeah, the only call thing it, I was trying to think about was, how do you explain that to housekeeping? We call that a Reno pinata. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go up the throw up to get the trifecta. Great, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Denny, you are a terrifying human being. That but is also a, well, full I'm, of fun stories. Dude, I have. Have you ever had a girl? I've had girls, uh, squirters and non, just once. When they, uh, when they come, like blow a nice fucking loud fart. Also, <laughs> yeah, a girl like does it. They're like, like, okay, I'm gonna go. Like, okay, I'm so sorry. Ew, the, ew. The, like, they, like, they're so embarrassed, but I have to finish still. I imagine the farts like the uh, when they throw the parachute in drag racing. <laughs> she's like, Slow try, try the shoot. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just bouncing like, around the room. <laughs> just off the walls. Danny, thanks for calling in, man. That's, hey, uh, that's great, guys. Thanks, man. The guy oh, had Lord. sex with a girl that just unloaded. I mean. <laughs> you do it. That's a dual cleanup. You have to. Uh, do you help her? Yeah, clean that up. What was a hotel? Squirt? I don't think you have to clean up squirt too he much. He was a he was a hotel, so I think squirt just dries. You got tip. You better have tipped them. Just, you know <sighs> what? The housekeeping? Yeah, leaving that. 
what ass ass water <laughs> ass squirt as yeah. he Denny so Kentucky put it. What did he call it? <laughs> doo doo juice. Doo <laughs> got the doo doo juice. <laughs> Anyway. My stepson's gonna shit himself. I'm gonna fuck his mom in front of him later. <laughs> like, Denny, that's not a that's not a trick. You're just gonna do something mean. Right now we're fattening up an ethnic. Gonna hunt him tomorrow. <laughs> Human game. The best game. <laughs> the biggest game. The most deadliest game. Um Fuck, what were we gonna I was gonna talk about something of oh, being single? No. That led to this. How the fuck we got here? <laughs> to all of the being single? No, just yeah, just talking about being single. We well, you know, asking that girl to dance brought you back to that feeling again of being single and putting yourself out there, and you're worried you're going to get hurt again. No, I'm not doing <laughs> nothing for a while. I'm just hanging out. Nothing? Well, I mean, I'm not a dick, but... What does make you a dick to not randomly fuck chicks you don't I have just, a relationship just, with? But. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm, t- I'm tired. I just want to fucking hang out. I think that's what most people want to do when you get out of a relationship, is just... Not worry about, like, I don't want to go out and socialize and, like, hey, it's so. Well, hmm. No, I'm not telling you to go speed dating, but I mean, you. My, <laughs> my name's Dan. I just got to add something. I want to jump right back into something else. <laughs> Thank you. I want to kiss you so bad. Oh, I'm Scotty. Okay. I'm from Boogie Nights. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> no, no, sorry. That is really how I hit on women. Like, when he's chewing on the pen, I'm like, you look great. <laughs> is that your yeah. name? It's so sexy. Yes. I'm Dan. What's your name? Yeah, you're yeah. cute. You're cute. It's just the way you look at me sometimes, and I feel like you want to kiss me. Hey, uh, you're cute. <laughs> Who is that? You're not a good game talk. No. Yeah? No. How'd you get this chick, then? I mean, you Because uh, we filmed... You know. Yeah, we filmed something for Fox, so they casted her. You were charming. I got a I got a girlfriend the way like an oil baron son gets a girlfriend. We're like, this is the woman. You're the man. You two are no couple. And she was just like, hi. Is that really... But like, that's not really the story. I mean, like you got, like you had to charm her in some way. Yeah, we got along. We got along great. We still get along. Everything was fine. It just didn't no, work no, out. I know. No, no, I'm not. Oh, but you're saying going, how did I, I charm? I'm talking about how do you, in the beginning, if you're not a good games, like I had her come see, chick, I had so her come see me do comedy, and then you felt super confident afterwards. It was a good set, so yeah. You knew she was looking for that D. <laughs> well, no, if, if I would have bombed, that would have changed. You think so? Yeah. I don't think I could have hit on her. You know, it's funny. I was going to actually give her shit for, for you assuming, you know, almost being that she'd be that superficial. Is that really true? But I mean, like, I guess if someone was like, Dude, someone come watch it. me sing, and they bring you <laughs> out, they're like, uh, I, hang on. I still, I only sang the Mariah Carey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or like, you want to come see me a one woman show? Oh, Please my go fuck. Up. That's what I was, but I think about that. If I would have bombed, I probably would have bailed on everyone. Why does my mic keep going on? And it's like, keeps shooting up super loud. I'm sorry, Lou. It's in my head? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going mentally insane. She poisoned me Is it when we broke up. She's like, have some coffee. She's like, anybody else smell nickels? <laughs> yeah. Start stroking out, and then our <laughs> promo photo looks accurate. It's in your head. What are you pointing at? <laughs> Dude, that one doesn't make sense. Well, now I want to take it more than anything. What does it make why? sense? I mean, why just call up and bring it up? It's just yeah, a weird right. thing to call and bring up. So, like, I remember that shitty thing that happened to you? Like, <laughs> fuck. Now yeah. everyone at home is wanting to know. No, just like, one call says, what's it like being divorced? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm not divorced yet, actually. Dude, I think it's so... That's I'll so let you guys know, though, how it feels once it happens. I mean, you're going to go... We're going to go blow by blow. We'll cover yeah. the trial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonfire exclusive. Jay doesn't have to get away. Happy Jay yet. in family court. We got to get some good production on that. Yeah, today, witnesses... I'll be the news reporter. We can hire people. We'll have Jill from Long Island be our court reporter. <laughs> today, Jill, Jay said some mean stuff to her. It was so sad. They look like they were once such a happy couple. <laughs> Jill, is there any more pertinent information? Are you single? Oh, God <laughs> damn it. I like everyone's what's going with shit stories. Dude, that's what our show's turned into. Where have you <laughs> shit? <laughs> complete shit stories. We, th- we, wanted, we had <laughs> such good intentions for the show today. We and did. Then we're like, you know what? I know we talked about commercials a little too much last time, but we'll, we'll like we'll talk about like the breakup and the lead. It's like real personal stories. Oh, all stories about breaking up. I haven't we, told one story about breaking up. I know. There's been no need to. We've been fucking air humping the genuine, <laughs> laying it down, getting shit stories. That kid drank his own cum. Some speed freaks calling in, just <laughs> fucking chattering about. Guy drank his cum and inoculated himself for fifteen different diseases somehow. <laughs> Caffeine and jizz. He's became impenetrable. <laughs> he can't be killed by modern weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Your modern weapons cannot hurt me. I drink my own chisel. <laughs> Um, I feel bad for anybody we're not talking to because they want to tell their shit story. They're going to be like, ah, it's such a great one. <laughs> a great <laughs> Everyone's got a out. shit one. Oh, God, Even our great. buddy Mike was in the studio. He's like, I got a great shit. I got a great shit story. I shit my pants bo- uh, dog sitting for Bobby Kelly. Yeah, I shit my pants a few times in the past five years. It like just two, Maybe two or three times. It was never on purpose. I've never done it on a historical site. Brian. 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 From Nor- Brian. That's right from here in New York City. Brian, you there, buddy? Hey, man. What's up, dude? Brian and Jesse. Brian and Jesse. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, what's going on, man? You know Brian and Jesse. You know them. Big Legion of Skanks fans, big yes. comedy fans in general. They're awesome. Awesome couple. I've met them at Legion of Skanks. Hells, yes, you have. What's hey, up, man. Brian? So, uh, wifey and I were traveling cross country uh, about last year. Uh, in the midst of us traveling, we went from multiple places to multiple places. We're in the middle of Indiana. And uh, I got the bubble guts. Yes. Yeah, of course. So we uh, couldn't wait any longer. I insisted the wife pulled over. We were prepared, though, so I had wet wipes ready to go. And uh, I insisted to shit on an, one of those outlooks that you saw Indiana. Like, oh, yeah, like, like, where you pull off the road, like the scenic overlooks? Yeah, so technically a historical site. One oh. of those since, like, <laughs> it'd, be, fucking hundred. it'd be funny if you filmed the profile of your face going down to you shitting. It looks like such a regal picture of yeah. you looking out oh, over this a, great land. <laughs> yeah, it was a barren street, like just highway, nowhere, nothing else in the area. But the, we were like in the midst of a hill. I, we come to the top of the hill, and on the way down, we realize there's a rest stop. How funny would be if they feet. if they arrested him? Oh, he just shit outside for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. All that all that worry and fucking holding in my guts to like shit out the um, next to the door. When they you were, have to when you have to shit though, it's amazing how well you can hold it in. But when you get to that thing, it's like oh, well here's the yeah. place where I'm gonna get the shit. Like it like, starts like, happening, it ramps up so much. Like, I call those the fifty foot tremors. It's but it's like, <laughs> start, like, like I've had I've been in like uh, like thirty five minutes of travel having the shit. Yeah, and when I'm taking out my keys from my front door, <laughs> you're almost like you just want to like fucking knee the glass out of the window. Like who gives a shit? <laughs> These are tomorrow's problems. Yeah, you start getting the sort of spin get your front door, like everything's so aggressive. And, and, it's and by the, the way, you just get your pants down in time for the first fucking log to hit the fucking drink. And the air hits your, your butt cheek sweat that, that's been building <laughs> in there. All it's, that humidity. Makes your hair stand yeah, up. You're like, oh, it's nippy in here. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens, man. You, it's the only time in your life you can feel your butthole sweat is I'm, when it's like I'm about just, to happen. You're just singing songs to yourself like, I'm not going to have time to yeah. grab my laptop this time. <gasps> Step one, step two, step one, step two, step one, step two. <laughs> no cracks, no cracks, no cracks, no cracks. And then you just do it, and you're like, thank God. Oh, uh, Brian, thank you, buddy. Hi, hey, buddy, of course. Oh, shit. <laughs> the, whole, the whole lines are clogged up, and people are like, what's the story? What's the story? <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, I blasted all over a lady's <laughs> face. And we're going to get more, more douchey. My mom, we were at the beach. She fell asleep under a towel. I had to go and I <laughs> shit my mom's hair. Because <laughs> fuck her, right? Yeah. Anyways, guys, love the show. You guys are doing God's work. You guys really doing the Lord's work. You're getting hard workers through their day, man. That's what it's all about. Shit my mom's hair. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> shit hair's here. Hey, ma'am. <laughs> I've never, uh, I mean, it's all, I always think it's weird when people don't want to shit. In public places, like who have to go home? I have friends that like have to go home. I have to go home. You have. To, you're one of them. You couldn't yeah. shit here. But, look, can I tell you something? Oh, this is really funny. Uh, when, <laughs> okay. I, when I left here, that's a great. When I left here. Monday in the middle of the show, yeah, here, yeah, got the bubble guts. <gasps> really? And in my mind, I was like, I have so much stuff to do after the after the show. I had to go to SDR show, you know, and yeah. I had a spot that night. At the uh, comedy cellar, so I was like, oh, I said I may have to go here, and the stalls here. I did not like the setup. There was one guy in there, uh, already fucking bringing the game. Right in the fr- is it the first one? Because that's a big one. That's it's one of my favorite. Right ones. in the right by the lobby. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, no, no, the first one was o- o- open. Okay, but the second stall, the guy in it, which is yeah. shitty because he's now making everyone uncomfortable. Yeah, by being in the middle, he broke it. The up. one on the end, the door doesn't close. You'd be holding it shut the whole time. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm just not going to do it. So I took a courtesy ass wipe, holding the door shut, the stall shut. You just wiped your butt? 
I just here's the, if it makes sense. I had bubble guts, so I was like clinching ass, and I probably had ass sweat. So there's that thing where you're like, I hope I'm not shitting myself at all. But you don't go bubble guts right to shit. You can go bubble guts and just hold. Well, I didn't want to hold, but yeah. I was like, it's too uncomfortable in here. So I left, and instead of going uh, right to my friend's house to do this podcast, I actually went. Home. I had a half hour layover, and I went to home to go to the <laughs> bathroom. Know. That's amazing. I wish I wouldn't have been able to read that on you. Also, in my head, all I was hearing was the cure, and I was about to go break up with my girlfriend. Alone, <laughs> yeah. with I was like, well, it was once good, but now it's spoiled. And then you just got, you are going to shit yourself. Yeah, dude. I, I fucking, I got home. I got home to do it. But yeah, it's, I'm, I'm saying about being like a, a home game guy, home, uh, home field. I can shit anywhere. Really? I can shit anywhere. And you're not worried that like your nope. ass is shitty afterwards. You have good, clean wipes. I, I give a wipe down of the toilet seat. You wipe crazy. No, forget that. My I'm butt. talking about your own asshole. I mean, yeah, I give it like a good wipe. I get I in stack, there. I stack the toilet paper. Oh, me too, dude. I got, I I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'll do five, six flushes. If I'll, I, gotta. I mean, I, I'll, I'll, but I'll do just, I'll just keep going back. Like I'm petting a dog. I'll just <laughs> keep going back. Yeah, I keep going too. But do you spread cheek and really get in the hole? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I dig in there. I'm not some weekend warrior. I'm, really, <laughs> I'm there to clean my BH. You're fucking thumb oh, deep in the shit. Yeah, I get in there. I, I feel around. No, I. but I do give an intense wipe. Yeah, I go pretty crazy with it. So if I have to, I've done it. I had to shit at the stand comedy club this weekend against my will. Uh, that's a tough one because the upstairs bathroom is People great. People are fucking waiting for it, though. Oh, that's man. Sucks. By the way, I came out. And I walk by and someone goes, it was the comedian the whole oh. time. And you're like, what a fucking twat bag. Yeah. You're just taking a dump. That's so weird. And then you come out and they're like, good set. Yeah. I wish somebody would kick the door. No, because the best part is washing my hands and my pants still around my ankles like a five-year-old boy. Because <laughs> I don't want to grab my uh, I don't want to grab my clothes with shit hands. Ah, uh, it's great. I'll tell you this. Little think- dingy hanging out and yeah. just washing hands like this. I did it. You just turn around. <laughs> yeah. I took bath. I took a boom boom. <laughs> The cellar's got one of the most difficult bathrooms to poop in. You've done it, though. Done it once. Come on. You I, took was, a sh- I took a shit at the Cafe One next to it once and lost my cell phone. I was drinking heavily, mm-hmm. and I really had to go. And I went, just, I like put my shoulder against the door yeah. and just fired one out quick. It was a quick, bank robbery quick. You also have a thing, like, do you like, Oof. you shit, Fenoya shit at Cabin Bar. You oh, should have really? a medal for that. And you just, you just had to. One time, cabin. You live around the corner from. It. Before I moved. Oh Jesus! Oh, one hard. time, at, one time at cabin bar, Giannis Papas was peeing in the thing, and I was so drunk, I can't. I kicked the door in, and I threw up while he was peeing. He was <laughs> peeing in the urinal. I threw up in the toilet, and then we both went and did a shot. I had a real problem. <laughs> That's all I think about. When we did a shot. I think that night we killed our first hooker. Yeah, I woke up blood covered hands. Learned you need pine saw to wash it off. <laughs> this is American Psycho. The next day, I was playing with a nipple in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> I like that we really inspired just two hours of shit stories. We really, it did become that. I promise. No shit stories. This is Monday. it. No shit story. We're going to call it No Shit Story Mondays. It's really taking a gross, uh, a I think, gross but, thing. But everyone's got one. When everyone has one. I like the girl ones. I like when a girl tells a story of her shitting it. I mean, I'm also, now that I'm Every single, guy is so excited to be like, I shit my pants. Great story. But Scott like, in South Carolina on line four. I mean, he's, uh, this is pretty impressive. Wow. That this happened. Scott, you there, buddy? Yeah, guys. How you doing? Great. <laughs> uh, I want to say, uh, love the show so far. Big J, I remember watching you on uh, Death Comedy Jam when you first came out. Yeah, oh, fuck, a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, no shit. Uh, that was uh, Bad Boys of Com- P. Diddy's Bad Boys of Comedy. Yeah. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's bad. not your bad. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> potato, <All> potato. Right. <laughs> so um, I want to start with the first story. Well, I was coming home from the Jersey Shore. I'm from Jersey originally. And uh, I was on the AC Expressway, and something happened. It's like the matter of like, 20 seconds where my stomach just turned and I was like, Oh my God, I'm going to shit. So I had to pull over on the side of the road. Cause I couldn't make the exit in enough time. And like you guys were just talking like a minute ago, you have that ability to like hold it. And like, no, I, I don't, I have no control whatsoever. 
So I pulled over on the side of the road and it's fucking pouring rain. I post up against the car. <laughs> like it's a, like a heartbreaking <laughs> scene of a movie. Everything but the shit is romantic so far. Yeah. Sounds like you're having a great first date. I wrote you every day. <laughs> Drop trowel and shit my pants. Oh, did you shit in your pants though or did you get it? No, I got them down, but then obviously like the leftover mess. It's just oh. terrible. What do you got? Like, what do you do? You know, how do you deal with it? Yeah. How do you have just dumb first date conversation after you just let it rip you had, you could have nothing you, nothing to wipe with well the date was a whole nother story i we we went to like to walk the beach after we just in like a huge fucking 300 <laughs> i like that you just transition Give me your that, dress i like that you transition that story like you're a grandpa you're like well that was a different story <laughs> how me and your grandma i got to be <laughs> oh i thought I, to, I thought you're saying you shit it says it sh you, you shit your pants on a first date this, this, I was starting with the first story because I, I obviously have no control over my bowels. Wait, right. so, so you've shit more than once in oh, a romantic Oh, dude, city. like, I, sh I, sh I shit my pants so that much when I was a kid that, like, I said when I was 16, like, I have to, next time I shit my pants, I'm going to kill myself. And then I, like, oh, Jesus, get up. Don't do that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> also, my father was raping me <laughs> nightly. <laughs> Scott, don't do that. <laughs> that seems like, like a, I swear a to God. Reaction. One more time that this butthole don't work, I'm pulling a trigger. Yeah, man. So, you guys are gonna uh, fart. No, I gotta go kill myself. <laughs> Mom, I love you. Why are you saying that, Scott? Also, you're gonna want to do laundry. <laughs> hey, Mom, I need new underwear, and I'm putting my house in order. I love you. I love Dad. Uh, <laughs> Put your house in order. It's time. It was, for you. it was a first date, though. I take her out, and then we go. You know, have a good old time. We walk to the beach, and then we're walking down the beach for the sunset. And I realize, oh my God, I'm gonna have to shit. And I was like, hey, uh, I got to go real quick. Like, meet me at the car in 10 minutes. Like, <laughs> That's just some shady thing on a date. I was like, just meet me, at the car. meet me at the car in 10 minutes. Either you're going to shit or rob this place. <laughs> 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 hey, you're pretty good. You're a good driver. You look like a good driver. Give me five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes. Do not be late. You hear any gunshots, I want you to stay put till you see me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm walking back to the restaurant, which is a couple, uh, couple blocks away. And it's like on this beach there's plenty of people's rich homes and shit and i'm like i got 40 bucks in my pocket maybe i'll just pay one of these rich people to be like hey i'm about to shit my pants like here's 40 dollars let me use your bathroom uh that didn't go over i tried walking to uh the restaurant which is only a couple blocks away and then realized like 100 feet away it's not going to happen it's broad daylight it's like 6 30 and was the foot traffic I high What'd you say? Was there a lot of foot traffic? Were people just walking by? No, I was lucky enough. I was in a parking lot. I dropped trowel against a white SUV, and I just dropped shit all over this white SUV. Do you know how much money I would give <laughs> to know if the guy that you did that to his car, he's listening to this show right now, and he goes, wait, oh, a, God, would, wait a goddamn second. Is this guy from South Carolina? Yeah, this is, this is in Charleston. The day I left... <laughs> the day my wife left me, I got my car shit on. I thought it was her. I went to a jealous rage and murdered her and her lover. <laughs> Turns out it was shit on some guy's car. <laughs> hey, just shit all over. Place to do it. The know. next, the next part was the cleanup and like heading into the restaurant and like luckily I had extra like clothes in the car, so I was in a, like a nice get out. So I had to like use a nice shirt to wipe my ass oh. in an abandoned parking lot. And you wear like I a Joey Buttafuoco cut up sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a trainer in the early nineties. You got these Zubas on, <laughs> like Chuck Zito. <laughs> <laughs> got the neck cut out for my lats. <laughs> Ten minutes go by, and I like clean up at a, a local restaurant, like use the bathroom and everything, and I'm in a completely different outfit. Walk up, this girl's like just twiddling her thumbs by the car, like what the fuck took you so long? And I just like don't say anything. I get in the car, I start driving. She's just looking at me because she sees that I'm in different clothes and everything. And I'm like, yeah, so I shit my pants. And she started dying laughing for like 20, 20 minutes. Hey, at least she's a good sport. Yeah, yeah, no, she was awesome. And uh, all I had to do was shower, and then she let me fuck her. So I thought that was pretty cool. She's like, you <laughs> yeah. know what? I feel bad that you can't control your own butthole. So why don't you <laughs> shower up and come take a run at mama? <laughs> you complete me. Yeah. Now the next step is doing anal with her. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Oh, good. Yeah, call us back. Let us know how it goes. Oh, you're still. This is recent. 
Uh, it was a year ago, and I, you know, now I'm seeing her again. So yeah. now I just, oh. Get in there. She's a champion. She girl's back. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's like, that's, mar- that's like, you know, you can marry someone who will who'll accept that's when you right. get your pants. Yeah, that is a ride or die. But don't let her get any shifty ideas that you'll accept her if she shits on a date with you. True. Yeah, that, that's true. What if, what Make if, sure you know, that, you let her know, you have a double standard, and you stick by it. Keep your boundaries. I mean, we start traveling the country and just shitting in restaurants. Oh, like Almost natural like... born killers, but with shit. <laughs> I'll produce the web series. Scott, thank you so much for calling, buddy. Hey, thanks. Guys. Enjoy the show. Keep it up. Thanks, Ben. You know that music means we're done. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks for uh, talking about poop with me today, buddy. Did it get you out of your uh, sadness? Pull me out of my funk. <laughs> But I like it. We're, so we're going to get uh, Single Soda now. The Adventures of Single Soda. But it's sober. I'm not drinking. Or am I? No, I'm not drinking. I'm hammered and I have a girlfriend who likes girls. So I always got some fun stories once every five months. Yeah, we'll just live vicariously <laughs> through you. Every five months. Yeah. <laughs> Those stories are so it's like, dude, let me guess. You got another tale that goes, now isn't that easy to organize, bro? <laughs> yeah. Because these are things, a lot of flakes. And you can start things. a union chapter before you can get one of these things done. And I got, he goes, oh no, I have eight great stories and they're all once a year (laughs) um i love you buddy love you too you're feeling okay thanks Uh, we will catch you guys next week monday 6 to 8 p.m eastern time right here on the bonfire comedy central radio sirius xm 95 have a good weekend